There are many anti-aircraft units in the surroundings of Hanoi. This is just one of them. The soldiers here are militiamen. It means they are workers. They work at a nearby factory here. And uh, they carry out both production and the duty here as uh, anti-aircraft soldiers. And I was told by the people here that they brought down one US airplane on August the 5th. They said the uh, plane uh, crashed in another district far away from here and the pilot in the plane died when the plane crashed. The figure of the official number of shot down planes is very high. The figure uh, which was released on August the 6th said that uh, 3,882 planes so far have been shot down and uh, the first plane was counted already in August 1964. The shooting down of American planes over North Vietnam also means an increasing number of captured US pilots. Recently a Hanoi paper published uh, the names and photos of 10 newly captured pilots. They were said to have been captured during June and July this year. And a few days ago the Voice of Vietnam which is the radio station here, uh, had a program with statements from nine US captured pilots. But eight of those nine were the same as those who appeared in the newspaper some days before. In their statements on the radio here, those nine pilots said that their situation was acceptable, their health was quite good, and they also said that the only chance to end this war was if the United States would elect George McGovern as president in November. From Peter A. Callahan, First Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Dear Nell, hi sweetheart, I am doing fine and my health is very good. I have received very good treatment since my capture, so I hope you are not worrying about me and that you are taking good care of yourself. I am anxious about our child and hope you are both progressing well. My hopes remain high that we will be reunited soon, but I think George McGovern is the only man who can bring this about. So I urge you to support him with a donation to his campaign and by voting for him. I love you very much, and please give my love to everyone back home. I hope to see you all soon. Love, Peter. Several times recently, official statements here have stressed the position, the North Vietnamese position on the captured U.S. pilots. It has been said that only if the United States accepts a political and military solution simultaneously, the, patch, uh, the captured pilots can be released. And uh, it is said that they will be re released during the period following a uh, solution and uh, ceasefire, and during the same period as the US involvement is ended here in Vietnam. References also have been made to uh, in earlier statements here saying that uh, if George McGovern is elected president uh, a number of pilots will be released on his first day in office and the rest of the pilots will be released during the period of 90 days McGovern has said he needs to end the war here but right now the number of captured US pilots seems to grow uh, and uh, those three American pilots who will be released here very soon have uh, probably already been replaced by at least three newly captured American pilots. This is Eric Eriksson of Swedish Television News.